I got drawn into the screenplay because I, I just liked how it was written. There was a unique voice. I think Alan had provided uh, a specific sort of voice to it that um, that first and foremost was funny. And I thought that's where a lot of these so-called romantic comedies fail: is that they they are um, they're neither funny nor romantic. And I thought what Alan did is he actually used comedy. Uh, as a way to fuel the romance, as a way to draw the two characters together, was that their shared sort of uh, sardonic outlook and sarcasm and wit was um, was sort of a, a common point with them and, and a bonding point. They actually use the sense of humor in the comedy to actually create romance. And for me, it's you know, anytime you know you're trying to flirt with somebody, you're getting their pants. It's about comedy. That's sort of the the road to that. So. To me, I thought it was a smart and very realistic way of doing it in terms of bringing these people together was through their wit and their, their shared sense of humor. And, and they make each other laugh, they make the audience laugh, and I think that buys a lot of um, empathy for the characters, and you care about these characters a lot just because, specifically, they make you laugh and they make each other laugh. That college roommate thing where it's sort of that last opportunity for really <laughs> Uh, different backgrounds to collide and, and to stay friends. It's rare that you still get that, um, you know, as you get older. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely sort of um, opposites in a lot of ways, but very similar in, in their own way and, and share a sense of humor again and, and share an, uh, sort of a common sort of outlook on life. But uh, together, yeah, they're ridiculous. They're hilarious. They couldn't be more different. I thought that scene was great and it was. It's very easy to sort of play um, Ben uh, as a villain, do you know what I mean? To play the boyfriend as a villain. And I thought, both in the writing and in Rafe's performance, it was something we, uh, we tried to do, was to make it not an easy call for both the audience and for Chantry. And I think that's what that scene is. It's a bit of jockeying. They play off each other. Chemistry is fantastic. And we kind of saw it the second we put them in together at the makeup and hair test way back when. Um, yeah, Zoe just has a great physicality to her. She's also, just the way she moves and the way she, you know, she's got a great, I don't know, there's just a, there's a thing to her that, that I love. And um, you just deeply care about her. And she's also funny as well and, and smart and a screenwriter in her own right. So understands the story and the process of making a film and, and is a fantastic presence on set. So their, their chemistry has been amazing. Dan has more experience than anybody on this on this set, um, you know, and he couldn't be more professional and um, and uh, a guy who, you know, shows up on time and, and and is really funny. That's been the nice surprise about. I mean, that's obviously it's a comedy and that's what you're looking for, but but he's surpassed my expectations in terms of how funny he is and how great he is on his feet, uh, with improv and um, and just coming up with with with, with great bits. Um, so he's been like a real surprise, and I think what we're seeing is sort of an emergence of a, of a new leading man, a guy who's sort of had a lot of success as a, as a teenager and, um, and well-deserved, but now he's, he's all grown up, and I think he's ready to take that next step, and um, he's amazing. The thing about Toronto is that there's a ton of water around it, and that's sort of something we try to key into is, is that try to find the romance by the beaches and in the east end of the city and, and try to capture it that way. And I think we did. I mean